Yeah, so there, there's probably a few things uh, holding mining companies back from, from uh, really benefiting from innovation. What we found in our recent research is that there's a bit of confusion between operations excellence, continuous improvement and true innovation. Mining companies seem to acknowledge across the industry that innovation is important in driving the next wave of productivity gains and growth. However, they seem less certain about how to execute on a pure innovation agenda beyond just continuous improvement and cost reduction initiatives. Yeah, mining companies by their nature are, um, tend to be quite risk averse. Obviously safety is a really important construct within those organisations. Um, and they tend to be quite conservative in their nature as well. Um, and so therefore, making sure that you get the right um, systems and processes and the right supporting technology in place is obviously really important. Um, and that, that in itself will help organisations to, to manage the risk associated with, with innovation. So for mining companies that really want to innovate and, and they know they have to, um, what holds them back is a couple of things. There's the, the age-old way of doing things and we, we think this is how operations are best run. And then the underlying culture of avoiding risk in a mining operation. So safety and making sure production numbers are hit. But they all work towards not changing things or being really wary of new and different things. So that's always a challenge when going into a mining company and talking about innovation. For the mining sector specifically, mining is quite a risky business or body uncertainty, hazards both, both to people and the environment. It's created a culture of fast follower rather than early adopter. We need to see people coming together across not only the organisation but its ecosystem of innovation by embracing R&D organisations, universities and TAFEs and the organisation and its suppliers as one to come together. There are a lot of people that still think that the good times are going to roll again. So this down cycle we're in now, which is what is causing everyone to think about we need to do things differently, we need to innovate beyond just cost improvement. A lot of people think that we're just in the down cycle and things will get better again and we'll go back to doing what we've always done and the commodity prices will dig us out of this hole. And therefore the imperative to really change the way we do things doesn't really seem to be there. We do see good ideas coming up in most mining businesses, both the, the, the majors and the, the, the miners, and in the service provider community, but there isn't always a, a framework and a process for taking a good idea through to something that's actually delivering value. Financial metrics and holding people accountable uh, drives you know, suboptimal behaviour. We know that, as we said, people are purpose optimizers, not, pro not profit optimizers. So, so extrinsic motivators like financial rewards and incentives um, are not only not conducive to install uh, innovation behaviour, it actually is counterproductive. And what we need to focus on is the intrinsic uh, motivators, which relates to allowing people to believe in something bigger than themselves and make a contribution to that, allows them to have some autonomy in how they do things, and allow them to learn through the experience of, uh, of creativity, um, all to the focus of um, helping the company face the, the challenges of the future. Thank you.